Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we're going to talk about some of the camera features that Samsung talked about at Unpacked that the Galaxy S23 has right out of box, but I want to show you that there are a few of these that you currently can have before the Galaxy S23 comes out, or if you decide not to grab it, you are able to do a few of the tricks that the S23 can do inside of the camera, and it's using Camera Assistant. Now, not only are you able to get this on other devices other than the Galaxy S23, but there is the latest update that was pushed out today, which is February 8th, which now gives the support for the S23, as well as the Galaxy S22 series that is using Samsung One UI 5.1. Now, this is just letting us know that once Samsung One UI 5.1 comes out, it will add in these additional features. Now, these are some of the features that is a part of the Galaxy S23 that isn't a part of the Galaxy S22 series just yet, but there was a few things they talked about on stage that is currently a part of this build. So let's first talk about what is coming with this update and what the Galaxy S23 gives you that the S22 with Samsung One UI 5.1 will soon have. And then we'll take a look at Camera Assistant, at all of the different features that it does give you currently. And this was something that I talked about in an earlier video. I posted a video about two weeks ago talking about how my phone differs from yours in several different ways. And one of these is because I have Camera Camera Assistant downloaded on my Galaxy S22 Ultra, which allows me to have additional camera features. Now, I do got to say that if you own a Samsung Galaxy device that is from two, three, four years ago, you know, if you have the Galaxy S20 or anything older, if you own the Galaxy Note 8, the Note 9, Note 10, or anything like that, you might want to take a look at upgrading. The Galaxy S23 series is a pretty nice upgrade from any of those devices. So if that is the case, I do have a link below the video inside the description, as well as the pinned comment on the very top that will take you over to the Samsung website. It is a Samsung exclusive affiliate link it will give you a additional $50 savings it'll add an additional $50 Samsung credit so then you can use it to pretty much anything else if you want to look for a watch or Galaxy Buds or a tablet anything in between maybe some accessories as well now that additional savings of $50 of that Samsung $50 credit you will not be able to get that if you just go to Samsung directly you do want to use the link below the video inside the description let's just go through let's talk about what is new on this latest update, again, pushed out February 8th. And so this is what you will currently have the moment you get the Galaxy S23, because I believe part of the Samsung bloatware that is already downloaded on the S23 is gonna be camera assistant, which comes from the Galaxy Store. So the, the additional things that you'll get whenever Samsung One UI 5.1 gets pushed out for the Galaxy S22 series, you're going to be adding in these five features. The first one is add picture softening step. So there's an additional step being added in. Currently, inside of the camera assistant, there is the off and then basically on. So it's either off or 100%. And they're talking about this option right here. So either you can turn on or off picture softening, which is just a way to smooth out sharp edges and textures in photo mode pictures. So what you'll see on the Galaxy S23, as well as the S22 series, once Samsung One UI 5.1 is pushed out, you're gonna have a little option section, kind of something like this, where it gives you three options instead of the two. So you're gonna have on, off, and then as well as 50%. So take a look right here, you have off 50%, which is the addition, and then on, which is full 100%. Now the next thing that they will add in is the add capture speed step. So there's speed priority, and then picture quality precondition. So inside of here, I'm kind of looking around to kind of see where this would be at, and I believe it's right here, which is capture speed. So right here, you can speed up the shutter by capturing fewer frames. This may decrease the picture quality. Now, this was something that they showed off on stage at Unpacked, talking about how you're able to turn something on, you're able to have faster images, but again, when you are going through and you're taking you know quicker and quicker shutter speed pictures, the quality of the image 
will go down. But it looks as if they're going to add in a additional step to this portion right here. And so what it was referred to as was picture quality precondition. So we're going to, you know, I guess we'll wait to see what it specifically looks like when this update is either pushed out, you know, that One UI 5.1 to the S22 series, or if the Galaxy S23 pulls up in the door first off, then we'll take a look again at exactly what all this will offer. Now for the third section or whatever is being updated, it's talking about timer multi-photo options. So in addition of shooting intervals, uh, which is 1.5 seconds, there's going to be I guess, additional intervals that you're able to choose. So what this is referring to as is right now, out of the box, your Samsung phone without camera assistant, if you choose the option of timer, you wait for that two seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, whatever you choose, which is this timer option here, you know, two, five, 10, let's say that we choose two seconds. In your phone, it's gonna take one image. Now, because I have camera assistant, it's actually gonna take three but it's at an interval of one and a half seconds. So here you can see it took one, there's the other one, here comes the other one, and then here comes this other one. So basically it's taking one and a half seconds in between the pictures, but with this update, you're gonna have additional intervals. So this way you can you know, either you know, make it longer or shorter in between each of those multiple images. So again, this was not an option on your Samsung phone right now. Anytime that you selected timer, it'll take one picture. With this one, you can do one, three, five, or seven. With this upcoming update, or on the Galaxy S23, you're able to choose a different interval in between when these three or five or seven pictures are taken. Now, number four, this is one that I am excited about because maybe sometimes you are filming something, you already know you have the shot, uh, and you don't wanna have your screen on the whole time because it is taking battery. Here's an option here, dim screen while recording. The function to set the screen dark when shooting video. So this is a pretty cool option. I'm very excited for it to come in. Currently, it is not a part of Camera Assistant. If it was, it would definitely be one that I would have turned on. And this one right here, Quick Tap Shutter. So you can take pictures as soon as your finger touches the shutter button instead of when you lift off. But you can still swipe or press and hold the shutter button to capture GIFs, burst shots, or videos, and a picture will be taken. So let's say that we go back inside of the camera now, currently, the second I tap, you can see it's not taking the picture until I lift my finger off. Now, if I do a press and hold, what it's going to do is I have it set up to do a video. Now, the other cool thing you can do is maybe you're inside of the photo mode right here. You can see we're inside photo mode, but something longer or something additional is happening uh, and you decide, shoot, once I went into photo, uh, I actually want to do video. All you would have to do is press and hold slide it up to lock and then now you're just shooting a video. It's gonna give you all the settings of video. You have you know, your 0.6, so you have your ultra wide shot, you have your normal wide shot, there is your, 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 your zoom and telephoto and everything else. So you have your 0.6, 1, 3, and 10. Uh, you're also gonna have the opportunity to take a picture. So you can still take a picture, all you have to do is just swipe it up to lock it in and it just puts you into video mode, which again is actually very cool. Uh, then you have your pause as well as stop. So this is just allowing it to the fact that the second, like the, the instant that you tap on this button, it's gonna take a picture, rather than waiting for you to lift your finger off of the button, then it takes the picture. So you're gonna have a quicker image, uh, you know, uh, or a quicker shutter once you tap it, like the instant it's tapped, you can select it to turn on so it can take a, pa a faster picture. So now that we talked about everything that is brand new, when you take a look at your Galaxy S23, you know, when it comes down to the camera assistant, or also whenever the Galaxy S22 series gets that Samsung One UI 5.1 update, which as of right now, I'm running 5.0, uh, that was everything that's new. But here's what you can have right now. In a few of these things, they talked about on stage at Unpacked. One of them was right here, clean a preview on HDMI displays. It was really funny. I had a few people message me stating that it was pretty cool that you can now finally do a clean preview when you have your phone connected to that external HDMI display. And I told people, actually, I have it right now. It's on my Galaxy S22 Ultra and I actually, I showed it to them. And actually one of those people I showed it to was somebody who explained it at Unpacked in the room with those extra devices. I was like, yeah, it is pretty cool, but I already have it. 
So what this allows is it shows the camera preview without all the settings or the buttons when you're connected to an HDMI display. So all of those things that you saw on the screen when you are you know, taking a picture or video or whatever, uh, all of those are away when it's connected to uh, HDMI. So if you're shooting a video, you don't have all that stuff cluttering the screen. So pretty much you have the auto HDR, you have picture softening, which soon you'll have an additional step inside of here. You have auto lens switching, so it can uh, let the camera pick the best lens based on the zoom, lighting, and distance of the subject. Capture speed, you can speed up the shutter by capturing fewer frames, but it'll decrease the picture quality. So someone showed this off in a video, in a video. they were tapping it super, super, super quick. That's pretty nice, but my guess is that they would probably rather have a better quality image. So I would definitely have that one turned off. A video recording in photo mode, uh, touch and hold the shutter button to record videos in photo mode. So you have that one turned on. Uh, you can also select it to where it can create GIFs. So if you press and hold on the shutter button inside a photo, it'll actually just create a bunch of GIFs uh, uh, or it'll take a bunch of photos creating a GIF for you that you can you know share, watch, do whatever you want to. Here's that timer multi photo options that we talked about before. Uh, here is the camera timeout. So versus the regular timeout by default, you can change it when you're using your camera, one minute, two minute, five or 10. So my phone has a five minute timeout. The camera timeout here is one. So it actually time out and go back to my home screen for me. And then here's that clean preview on HDMI displays. So that is what you currently have right now. Now camera assistant, if you wanna find it, just go to the Galaxy store. That's pretty much what we talked about this entire time. Uh, and again, all the stuff that is brand new, again, is gonna be these five things that we just covered every single one of them. And the update was pushed out today, February 8th. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.